I'm wearing the same outfit that I was wearing last week because I'm actually doing these two videos on the same day and I didn't change, which I usually change, but I didn't. Welcome to What The Kids Be Saying. I'm your host, Esther Bruna, and What The Kids Be Saying is a behind the curve pop culture knowledge straight from a high school teacher's classroom. I keep up with Gen Z so that you don't have to. On today's episode, we will do a review because it is insane. How often I still get asked what the phrase no cap means. Oh my goodness. If y'all don't use your context clues. <sighs> anyway, and we'll also be going over the word sus. But first of all, the word no cap means no lie or like seriously. And it's super easy to understand because when somebody is talking and they want somebody to take them seriously or they want somebody to know that they are not joking, somebody says at the end of the sentence, no cap. So if I say, it's crazy how many times people still ask me what no cap means, no cap. It means I cannot even believe this. I need you to believe this. I need you to take me seriously. No lie, no cap. Please don't make me explain how not going into the marginalized culture to appreciate it and understand it is privilege. But anyway, sus, I'm moving on, moving, stream rolling right past that. Sus means suspect or suspicious. I like this one because you, it's easy to tell. No cap is harder to figure out because the etymology is not there. You know what I'm saying? And if anybody does know the origin story behind no cap, I would love to know like the day that i did yo you sized me when i did that term the kids don't really use that anymore but i found out that the root word is circumcised like i was like Phew. so i would really love to know what the etymology of no cap is but anyway speaking of sus and suspect and suspicious super easy to understand because it's just a truncated word you know what i'm saying so suspect suspicious is easy and the reason why i am bringing this word up is because there's a certain game that the students have been playing all up and down in the last couple of weeks and they use this word while they're playing that game which brings us to our next segment what the kids be playing I think last year when I did what the kids be playing I did 2k and how 2k comes in the beginning of the school year uh, it comes out at midnight and they're playing it till you know four in the morning it's it's a whole thing but this year's game ladies and gentlemen boop, is among us if you have not heard of the game among us you are seriously living under a big old rock because they're playing it up down left and right and the game among us is basically like mafia or murder mystery or imposter like there's so many different ways to play this game in real life and they just made a game out of it you can play it on a laptop or you can pay it, play it on a phone what happens is you and your friends can get in a private room where you have a code and you give them the code or you and your you can play in a public room where you play with strangers there's two roles you can either be a crewmate or you can be an imposter if you're a crewmate that means you're innocent right and you are going on this little spaceship and you're trying to finish your task if all the crewmates finish their task before the imposter kills somebody then the crewmates win and then uh, but if the imposter kills somebody what happens is the imposter goes about their business and then when they go about their business somebody finds the dead body and they report the dead body once the dead body is reported there's a big meeting everybody comes and then that's when people like unmute themselves or like text in the chat I think it's this person I think it's this person blah 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 and they discuss where they were when the dead body was found what they were doing and of course if you're in the, the imposter you have to have like a good story about what happened or what didn't happen and you vote so this is where the students are like yo I think pink is sus I think um, red I'm sussing on red like and they're just I just think it's funny I'm sussing I was like you're sussing you're you're suspecting I think that's the the, the proper you know uh, translation <laughs> and so you vote and then the person that gets the most votes gets kicked out of the game if the person is the imposter great crewmates did a good job but if the person isn't the imposter then that person just gets kicked out of the game for no reason there's another round that's played and when that next round is played same thing happens Everybody tries to go do their tasks. If somebody dies, somebody reports, meeting, da 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 da, da until either everybody's dead or the crewmates figured out who the imposters were. It is a good time. And the other day we had some extra time in class and third period brought it up 
but I tried to like put some feelers out they weren't really trying to play with me but then fifth period didn't want to play with me so I let them play with me and so enjoy this footage of me being killed who that, I don't know but whoever it is is failing this next test that does it for this week's episode of What the Kids Be Playing. I hope you enjoyed that episode. Ooh, 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 ooh. I also hope that you like this. I also hope that you comment on this. I also hope that you share this with your friends. And last but not least, I hope you stay tuned. Victory! Good job. Thank you for avenging me, guys.